Greetings, my Guild of Glorious Gargantuans. It is I, Griffior, and we are back with Evolve. Now, I've played it a lot. Like, a little bit too much. And, um, there's really no story mode to this, so... I was hoping to show you at least something. It's, uh... This game is kind of a little bit like Evolve, if you think about it. There's no real story, but there's just bits and pieces you can just play over and over again. I mean, it's not bad. It's not really repetitive either. But we're gonna go to the evacuation mode. We're gonna go ahead and play online. And, you know, I'm usually the trapper, which is, uh... You know, pretty much what it sounds like. You uh, you catch up with a monster, you throw it down on a dome, and there you go. So, uh, as you can see, I'm level 19, and I've been playing the absolute hell out of it. It's just, it's fun. I I don't play the monster honestly. I just can't. I'm bad at it. I like I've unlocked every hunter, but I have not unlocked the second monster. Don't ask me why. I just cannot do it. So we're gonna hop in to an online game. We've, already, we've only found one person so far, but hey, hopefully we get out at the beginning that way, you know, it's it's pretty consistent. The uh, unique thing about um, the way they work the online mode is that every round, um, like, if the hunters win around the next round, they get some sort of bonus, but the monster gets some kind of buff to balance it out. So if that's, that way, if a player keeps steamrolling the monster, the... Uh, the monster can get a little, you know, more powerful, more powerful. That way, if it's more likely for him to win instead of him just getting steamrolled in each round. So, in this evacuation mode, there's five rounds or days rather, and in all of them, if all except for the last one, except for the last day, if all the hunters die, uh, they lose. And same for the monster. If the monster dies, it loses. But they have other objectives. Now we're here at the map. The first one's always a hunt. Just simple as that. Hello, hello, my test, my test. Hey, buddy. Probably gonna be the monster of this game. Is that okay with y'all? Uh, you chose uh, you chose co-op, not PvP. Okay, okay, that's okay. Yeah, people are Whoops. still people are still getting the hang of the game, even though they're level 21. I don't get that. I honestly. guess I'm gonna change my rule then. Okay, so yeah, the first the first day is always a is always a hunt. I've experienced at least, but the days after we get to choose between rescue. That's uh, one of this here speaks English. I think I paired up with a bunch of Chinese people last game. Yeah, buddy. The you know, there's a lot of people who play this game. I mean, he's obviously never played StarCraft or you know Dota. Anyway, um. You have rescue nest, which you go and hunt eggs down and kill all those and all that good stuff. And uh, your standard hunt. What else is there? The last one's a, a generator defense. So, you know, it's it's that. <laughs> like I just can't really think of uh, the other game modes. It's a, it's a standard hunt, the nest, and the rescue. I think that's really it. Now I think about it. Anyway, I'm always, I've played the Trapper, I play the hell out of Maggie, because Daisy is very useful when it comes to, as you can see, I've two starter, pretty, you know, I'm, and when you, uh, you know, level them up, you get that uh, plus 5%, whatever. Okay, so Maggie's your, uh, your starter, you know, she gets harpoon traps, the pet trap jaw, which is really helpful, and the machine pistol. And then the second one is Griff, and he gets a, you know, a little SMG, he has a Harnell, Hyde, or Markov. That is completely up to you. It's the first day, so it's not going to be too hard. But his right. uh, unique thing is he throws down uh, sound spikes. And he can throw those anywhere. And then whenever a monster walks by him, we pick him up. It's a lot easier for us to track him now. A, what he does is he has stasis grenades to slow down the monster. And a tracking dart pistol, which uh, he can tag uh, the, the wildlife that the monster eats. So... You know, if the monster eats it, it can track him, or he can just uh, tag the monster. Anyway, hold on, let me go back on it. I bought a skin pack for uh, Maggie because I absolutely love this. This is my character. <laughs> this is a hundred percent my character. I always get her in the reload speed because the way her harpoon traps are, you throw them on the ground, they charge up, and they trap the monster. All the monster has to do is, you know, melee. You've seen it, melee once, and then it breaks free. Now, our assault is Parnell. He's a, he has a rocket launcher and a assault rifle, I believe. Uh, the assault, its main thing is that it, uh, it throws up a shield, which makes him invincible for a limited time. Uh, 
and we'll join you in your hunt. Deal? Man, my allergies are killing me. It's snowing like a motherfucker here. Hey, Maggie, when you bought Daisy, what did you think you'd be using her for? Not this. That's what I figured. Fact, it was a rough colony. Violent. Once I had Ruva here, no one wanted to mess with me. It's sort of nice. She probably would have spent her life barking at people. Now she gets to hunt. Really be part of a pack. Okay, one thing I really, I really, yeah, really I love about this game is Whatever these four, else. the this four hunters, more. in any combination, no, not. they have a conversation, and sometimes it's like one line, but like other times you get actual engaging stuff that you get to learn now. So the first thing, since uh, the monster scared the birds, we're going to rush towards as fast as we can. It's my job to pretty much at this stage pop my uh, fourth ability which is to throw down a mobile arena to force an engagement, which means I'm pretty much the prime target for whenever a monster, you know, when I, when I throw that down, that monster's looking for me regardless. Okay, so, so, you know, these are pretty much tracks. We're all hunters, so, you know, we get that ability to see the trails and stuff like that. Daisy here, she can smell the monster and leads directly to him. So, wait, I gotta throw this fucking trap. Let's get this over with. Okay, this is bad. I wanted to catch it too much. Okay. Okay, he got caught in the plant. I'm trying to bail that way. The trap. Stand by. Fuck, let me get up. Go, 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 go. No. Okay. So, our medic's doing a good job of keeping me alive because the second I fall, that mobile arena goes down. So, we cannot have. God damn it, dude. Fucking fuck off. See, that's why the monster's coming after me. Okay, and the healer's doing a good job keeping me alive. The uh, our support bucket, he's a, a a robot, and he can throw down these uh, little turrets that do a lot of damage. You know, like not one by itself, but if all of them, dude, fucking assault, engage. There you go. Dome is coming down. And the, the dome is timed. We got it. Go. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, and Bucket, when his, uh, say, if things get way too hairy, he can pop his ultimate okay. ability, which all characters have the same ultimate ability. The Chappers is obviously the mobile arena, but the supports, they do a cloaking field, which, um, which, you know, cloaks all the people who are in a certain area. All they gotta do is walk near them and they're cloaked. Then, you know, for the assault, it's the uh, shield because his, uh, what he's supposed to do is get in the monster's face, kind of aggro him a little bit, and then essentially just uh, just keep him there. And then the healer is supposed to mainly heal uh, the, uh, the assault, mainly, because uh, that's the ideal thing. The trapper does the harpooning, which slows the monster down. Uh, the support does uh, DPS, and depending on which support, uh, there's one support that makes the assault invincible with a little, uh, with a little tool and all that. And then with the healer, it's kind of the same thing. Now here's an albino, which we're going to kill. That way we get a buff. And only the albinos, uh, give us, uh, the buffs. Okay, there's the monster. Can I can probably force an engagement right here. Yep. Okay, there goes the trap. So pretty much, if you don't have a good trapper... I missed, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh well, we'll get him next time. Anyway, yep. if uh, the reason I like playing Trapper more than anything is because see what happened just there. If it were any other Trapper, I don't think they would have taken the chance to throw in the uh, mobile arena. Because I've been in way too many games where the monsters, you know, like within, uh, you know, within range of throwing the mobile arena and getting them caught in it, and they just don't want to do it for some reason. I just don't trust anyone else to do it. And so we're in stage one. Where the fuck are you guys? Where are you guys at? I'm sorry, I get impatient. This is gonna be one hell of a ride. Fuck, I'm probably dead. Okay, there's Bucket. I don't know what the hell he's doing. We don't need that. We already have him. We already have a location. No, 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 don't down me, motherfucker. Okay, as you can see, one of my harpoons got him. I'm just trying to stay away as long as I can. That way, he can stay caught. There we go. 
course he's after the medic. If anybody goes down, anybody can pick him up. That's the thing. So it's not like, you know, if you take down a medic, it's absolutely, we're absolutely screwed. Okay, so. Uh, okay. The assault's trying to aggro. The support needs to go ahead and cloak. Get the uh, healer. Let's see assault getting at. It doesn't matter. As long as our healer's up, we will be alright. I'm trying to stay up as long as I can. I just got down. I'm in some kind of bush now. I just got to wait for my teammates to come and go, get Max. me. Okay. Good thing about having Daisy when you're Maggie is, uh... Okay, we'll follow Daisy because Daisy knows Everyone what the okay? When you, uh, Anyone when you play as Maggie, uh... Move a fucking thing. I don't even know what it's called. Um, Daisy can pick up, uh, allies. Tell. Is it full? What? Is Daisy's health full? Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Okay, so um, the uh, the I don't think I covered this. The medic's ultimate ability is to uh, release a uh, burst healing, which means it just heals whatever's in the little area. And so it's, I mean, it's useful. There's a there's one medic who really relies on his name's Lazarus, and his and he really relies on the hunters to die. That way he can bring back the life of full health. Because he has something called the Lazarus device. He's the only one who can bring a hunter back when, once now. they've died. I'm just trying to stay away. I don't know what our support's doing. We got a big creature right there. So pretty much, I'm just trying to... I think our support's really just trying to level his uh, guy up. You know, just to essentially... You know, that way he can unlock, unlock the last support most likely. Okay, so I'm trying to stay up here and just, since uh, our medic has him tranquilized to get a highlight of where he is and all that. Die, motherfucker! And this pistol's really, it's a machine pistol and it's really inaccurate. But man, I get close and it's GG. And the little circle on him, uh, some uh, medics, I haven't played as Kyra much, I don't think Kyra has this, but two of the medics, they have sniper rifles and when they, uh, when they land a hit on the monster, it puts a weak point on for the hunters to aim at. The other hunters. Or really just all of them to aim at and it does extra damage. Jetpack fuel is low. It recharges. Okay. I, he must be new. Even though he has Parnell, which is the last assault guy. He, he must have played a lot of single player and he's trying to be communicative. I guess I shouldn't criticize him for that, but I'm a dick. So. Okay, we just gotta follow Daisy. There he is. Okay, I can't throw up the mobile arena yet. It does have a recharge time. But the second I'm able to, um, Bucket tagged him with his uh, head. Bucket can take off his head since he's a robot and uh, pretty much it's a UAV. And so since he tagged him, we know where he is for a short amount of time. But that monster, once that goes away, that monster can hide and evolve because I know it's able to evolve. So once it evolves um, to stage two, it's a fair fight. Right now, it's an unfair fight. That's why we're trying to hound them as much as we can right now. I mean, you know, when you play this game, you try to hound them as much anyway. Okay, mobile arena up. Made myself a target for a monster. Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to stay off the ground. Target me just for a little bit, just for a little bit to get our assault back up. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I don't know where it went to. I'm just throwing down these mobile, or these, yeah, these harpoons. That way, whenever he shows up, that whatever, wherever he is, he's down. Okay, so he stasis, he's, I think he's accepted his fate at this point. Plus, it is AI, but still. Now, if this were PvP, it'd be a lot different. Is he stuck? Uh, I think the AI is kind of just bugged out for a second. It might just be accepting its fate. Okay, and there we go. It, the I first don't think day. that monster was a player. I think it was just AI. That's what I'm saying. It's a, like I think the AI just kind of programmed itself to say, just don't even try anymore. Because you didn't see a name. It's just bugged. Yeah. But anyway, see, now we get this bonus. We're going to have a couple colonists coming to help us fight in the next day. So. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. I don't, I'd tell them it's AI, and I don't know. Just forgive them. Just forgive them. 
Anyway, so we get, you know, end of the game, you know, progress. I'm on my way to level 20. I'm just going to skip this. I don't really need to know anything. Then you can see what kind of uh, stuff I have to... What? Okay, whatever. Anyway, this is the global average. The bottom bar is the global average. And the top one is what I did. And I've, you know, overdone the uh, global average. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. I'm kind of making this quick because, you know, we are going to continue. But uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.